What is going on Frosty fam? Cryo here bringing you a quick-ish guide on how to complete the achievement Feed Me Seymour. This achievement is part of the Glory of the Nathria Raid of Meta, which will reward the Rampart Screecher mount. Players must defeat the Stone Legion Generals while all players are carrying a bouquet of blooming Sanguine Roses. This is by far the most annoying achievement since there is an RNG factor, but a simple achievement in regard to what players must do. Just outside the boss's room, there is a flower. Clicking on this flower applies a buff bouquet of Wilted Sanguine Roses. Every player must have this buff before starting the encounter, however there is an internal timer of 10 minutes, so you want everybody to pick it up at the same time. A pull timer can help ensure this. Now that you have your buff, begin the encounter. Throughout the fight, Kal will be throwing out Wicked Blades. This mechanic leaves a bleed on players, but this bleed will cause your flowers to gain stacks. After 90 seconds or 60 stacks, the Wilted Roses will turn into Blooming Roses. All you need to do is ensure all players have Blooming Roses before defeating the boss and you win. However, this is much easier said than done. Wicked Blades on normal mode does not cleave and has the chance to target the same players over and over, meaning you may go over 100 pulls with that one person never getting hit. As if that's not enough, the other mechanic, Crystallize, is also random and can clear bleeds off players before they reach 60 stacks. Luckily, your stacks remain and all you need to do is get hit by another bleed to resume stacking. As for tanks, we are never targeted by Wicked Blade, but Kal will use Serrated Blade. This is also considered a bleed and applies stacks. Classes with taunts may find it beneficial and more reliable to taunt just before Serrated Blaze goes out. This allows groups to start blooming much quicker. Other fun facts, standing in Crystallize will remove your bleeds and cause you to stop gaining stacks as mentioned before, however groups will still want to soak the Meteor ability that follows shortly after. Also also, once your flowers have bloomed, drop your bleed stacks to alleviate some of the healing stress. It is easiest to try and get all the bleeds out during the first phase, but you will not want to linger too long as the enrage for this boss will sneak up on you. It's also important to note, if a player dies but has bloomed already, do not res them. Do not accept a res if you are res. They will still be counted for the achievement and your group can still complete it. The bloomed buff persists while dead, but should you accept the res or reincarnate, the buff will be lost and you will have to raid wipe. One last note, doing this on heroic mode is far easier since the wicked blade cleaves everyone in its path. So after just one wicked blade, everyone has the potential to start gaining stacks immediately, and then you really only need to worry about the first person who gets crystallized. But that's all for this guide, good luck with your RNG and I'll see you in the next one. Stay frosty.